Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is finally the day. Preseason is here. It is Wednesday, and we are expecting the preseason promo and FIFA Ultimate Team today. The, the loading screens that have been confusing us for the past four days are now finally going to be found out today. We're going to know what this promo is all about. Just to take a peek at the current loading screen that we do have, we added coordinates and a little uh, graphic down here. Uh, that a lot of people, and what this loading screen is pointing to today is, or yesterday, is transfers, right? Stanford Bridge and the Allianz Arena are the two coordinates that are listed in the loading screen. And of course, you have this little graphic image in the bottom right, which looks to a lot of people, and I agree with this, it looks a lot like something to do with transfers, with the arrows moving. Uh, so it looks like some part of this promo is going to be related to transfers as well. So taking a look at this loading screen, what do we know about this promo that's coming today? Something involving Road to the Finals and UEL Lives, right? That was the first loading screen. Something re revolving around Team of the Years, Team of the Seasons, and also something revolving around uh, transfers. So that is the, like the three pieces that we know for sure from this promo right now. Now, there's so many different things that EA could do with those three pieces, that what we know right now. Um, but that, that's honestly like... The thing that we don't know that's why today is such a very interesting day because we really don't know what's going to happen are there going to be spcs are there going to be objectives are they going to juice road to the final cards are they going to put timo Werner chelsea card on like a team of the season version are they going to that the possibility is endless are they going to put team of the years in packs are they going to are they going to put tots in packs we really don't know that's why it's a crazy day because they really have kind of just like played with us on this loading screen for the past couple of days. Now, the one thing I do want to talk about is uh, we'll talk about two different scenarios that I could see happening today with cards that are really meta and out of packs for right now, like team of the years, team of the seasons that are down a lot in price. I want to talk about those cards uh, here in just a minute and talk about potential like movements and price that you could see with them, whether they do get supplied or whether they do not come back into packs. Uh, but the first thing I want to like call the attention is we have not seen any new card designs talked about on Twitter, released on Twitter, or anything regarding the preseason promo. Now, the colors in the loading screen, it looks to be kind of a mix between like a Road to the Final purple and the Europa League Road to the Final yellow. So it's kind of a mashup and a mix between those two colors, uh, but we don't actually have a card design. So that tells me that this promo is probably going to be very similar to Summer Heat in the fact that it's going to be recycled content. Like the team of the years and the team of the seasons being on the loading screen makes it seem like to me they're going to go back in packs. That's the most likely scenario that I see. And Road to the Finals and Europa League Lives that are on the loading screen as well earlier this week makes me think that there's going to be something Champions League and Europa League related in this promo. And I don't really know if there's anything related to FIFA 21 at the very beginning when I put out the first video, like what is this promo? It seemed like it was going to be possibly related to, we jumped to the conclusion. We said, Hey, this could be related to FIFA 21. I don't actually know if that's going to be the case uh, today. I hope it is. Maybe there's some sort of like transfer ones to watch situation because the colors on the loading screen also are like the same as the ones to watch design for FIFA 21 that has been released already on like the FIFA 21 promo stuff. So that's something that could possibly in be involved today too, right? Objectives or SBCs relating to FIFA 21 ones to watches with the transferred players uh, like Ziyech, like Thomas Mornier, like of course, Timo Werner, uh, maybe Arthur, maybe Pjanic. Like there's a lot of transfers that have started to take place. The transfer window is open right now. There's all this, the transfer talk in the Premier League for sure is starting to heat up. You know, Sancho to United, everybody's talking about like those types of deals that are being like Coutinho back to Liverpool, all that kind of stuff, right? It's all over Twitter. That stuff is starting to heat up again because the season's over. Maybe this promo is going to revolve around some of that stuff as well, but we really just don't know until 6 p.m. UK today. Really, it could be a big day where they release new SBCs, right? We've got a lot of SBCs that are expiring today. The Palacio is expiring today. The Delaney still is out for one more day. Um, there's another SBC that expires today. Maybe it already expired. Maybe it's already gone. But we do have a lot of the SBCs have already expired. That's what I was uh, trying to say there. A lot of the SBCs have already expired. They expired at the end of summer heat. And of course, that Palacios goes away on Wednesday as well. 
Um, so could we get an SBC today? I think it's very plausible, especially if they're putting cards back into packs. They're probably going to re-release some sort of like pack supply SBC because again, a lot of stuff in this game right now is still pretty inflated. SBC fodder and the like is still pretty inflated right now in this game. So uh, if EA were to release a pack SBC, they would get a lot of people in on that. Upgrade packs could come out as well. And then we just talked about objectives and the possibility for maybe like transferred card cards like Timo Werner and Ziyech as possible objectives. Um, but again, there's just so much that could come today. Again, like speaking of these road to the finals, that was one of the first loading screens that we have. Maybe EA is going to come out and say, hey, instead of doing like plus ones for each time or an inform upgrade every time these cards win and, and their teams move on in Champions League, these are still live, by the way. Maybe what they're going to come out and say is, hey, we're going to double that boost. It's going to be a plus two boost for each card as they continue on. So maybe... You know, your Militao, instead of going from 86 to 87, it would go from like 86 to 88. Or maybe they say plus three, go from 86 to 89. Now, the only problem that you have a little bit with that is a lot of these cards already have Team of the Seasons or Summer Heat. Dybala, Tots, Mares, Tots, Sun, Mane, uh, Team of the Seasons. Conte doesn't. He has a Summer Heat that didn't win the vote, but he's got a Team of the Year. Sancho, Team of the Season. Militao, SBC. Handanovic, Team of the Season. Summer Heat, Summer Heat, Summer Heat. Summer Heat. You know, like the, there's a lot of other cards that have taken the place of these at this stage in the game. So that's why I'm interested to see what that whole road to the final spin and why those guys were in uh, the loading screen. Team of the year cards, if they do come back into packs, it's going to be pretty hype. People are going to want to open packs. If you want to club stock gold rares, right? If you want to club stock gold rares, uh, be my guest. They're still discard right now. This is the epitome of a discard investment. You're literally risking like 50 coins or however many coins it is. Uh, I think it's like 613 coins to quick sell a gold rare card that is over 75 rated. So it's a discard investment at the very least. You can put them into some sort of upgrade pack that might come out this week. Uh, so stock your club with these if you really want to. Other than that, I don't think you really want to buy into SBC fodder because um, if there is a promo that comes today, if there's new cards that are in packs, I feel like there could be some supply on this SBC fodder. And we're also heading into Thursday, which Thursday rewards... Always drop the SBC fodder market every single week on Thursday. These prices take a hit because of the weekend league reward supply um, and that. So I would stay away from this kind of stuff, these kind of cards, investing in those. Club stock the rare golds if you think upgrade packs are going to come out. If you think they're going to re-release those team of the seasons and top team of the year cards into packs. Uh, and that's actually what I want to talk about next as well. So if we transition to that, I think there's two scenarios Two scenarios that I see happening here with team of the years and team of the seasons being back into packs. Scenario number one, it all depends on the content that EA drops today. Scenario number one, content is hype, content is lit. There's SBCs, there's objectives, team of the years, team of the seasons, like the best version of every special card in the game is in packs. It's a hype day. That's option number one. What's going to happen to these super, super meta and still pretty rare team of the season and team of the year cards? I think they're going to take a sharp decline because people have saved up packs. If they go back into packs, there's going to be some additional panic selling on these. People are going to say, yo, this guy was 1.7 mil on Monday. He's back to 1.8 mil, 1.8 mil right now. Uh, this guy's going back into packs. He's going to get supplied a lot. So they're going to go and panic sell him. He's going to drop back down. There's also going to be packs that are open. So we might get packed right away. His price is probably going to drop for the first hour to two hours after that announcement. But then a card like this is probably going to get bought back. People open their packs. They maybe do the SBC for the content. They start working on the objectives. And as long as it's not like something super duper like repeatable, like they redo the, the icon SBC requirements or something, that's like not going to happen. Um, but I would expect some of these team of the seasons to actually bounce back. I think there's a possibility that they would actually bounce back uh, a couple hours after the panic selling stops and after the promo um the hype dies down from the initial like 30 minutes to an hour and a half to two hours. I do think you'll see a bounce back. That's what happened earlier in the week with Conte. We see that all the time with the super meta and rare cards, right? French cards, team of the years, team of the seasons that are very, very uh, just desired and hyped up and used by a lot of people in this game. Messi right now has got a little bit of extra hype to his name because of the Semedo objective. He's 1.95. Um, you know, this card going back into packs. Is he going to get supplied that much? This is the only thing, right? With the option one, if it's a really hype day of content, are these cards going to drop that much? 
I just don't know if they're going to drop that much because how much hype really is there? They're not going to get packed that much either. Yes, there's going to be some panic selling. They're going to drop. Maybe they rebound a slight bit, but then they're probably going to stay the same price and maybe, you know, drop a tiny bit at rewards because rewards are going to come right after this. That's going to supply the market with some of these cards that are in packs. Whatever is in packs, that's something to kind of, you know, keep uh, thinking about and keep in your mind is that some of these cards will be in packs and that there probably is going to be um, some supply on them at rewards. Now, the really top tier meta guys, they might not get hit that much in price just because they're so top tier and meta and rare regardless anyways. Uh, so just be kind of careful with that. Um, but that is option numero uno. That is option number one. And that is a really, really hype day of content. Option number two, right? Team of the year cards, team of the season cards are not re-released back into packs. And then everything just bumps right back up right away. Because so many people right now are just so engaged and worried about having the best price and selling and wanting to buy back for their end game teams. The end game teams right now is a very important point that a lot of people are basing their moves in foot off of because they maybe sold their team of the year Mbappe or team of the season Mbappe who was like 2.9 3 million coins just last on the last weekend on the weekend and now they're selling that card because it's gone down 300 400,000 coins but they need to buy it back for their team for their end game team they need that card in their club so um they are gonna be very quick to buy it back today if there's not a lot of hype and there's not a lot of content and not a lot of stuff to do on the game today. So you will see a buyback on some stuff in my opinion, if that is the case. And that would be a quick buyback, it'd be very sharp. And if you're somebody who's trying to flip one of these cards, you don't think they're coming back in packs, then you would probably see that buyback hit a peak within like an hour or two. Two hours It would be kind of my time frame for a peak on that for option number two, scenario number two, if that does happen. So. Just be careful with some of that stuff today. I honestly think that TOTS cards and Team of the Years will be back in packs. Why else would they be on the loading screen? That's going to transition a lot of the hype into uh, upgrade packs and upgrade SBCs and gold rare cards. So again, I think I mentioned this earlier in the video, but I would definitely go ahead and stock these cards. Cards, they're on bid for basically 700 coins. Just stock your club with them. That's like the only preparation that I would honestly do ahead of this promo. Other than that, man, we literally are just going to sit back, relax, and see what EA dropped today as the content on a Wednesday. It's kind of interesting that we have content on a Wednesday. The last two promos, Summer Heat and this uh, preseason promo, have dropped on Wednesdays, which I find to be very interesting. Not entirely sure what's the deal with that and why that's happening, um, but... It is what it is, and it's kind of interesting. So again, just a quick rundown of what we could see today. Possibly SBCs, possibly objectives relating to either FIFA 21 or transferred cards like Ziyech, like Werner, um, especially with the Allianz Arena and with Stamford Bridge being a part of uh, the loading screen today and that transfer logo being in there. Um, cards and packs could be anything from team of the years and team of the seasons to a whole slew of like the best version of each card in foot. Maybe it's like batch three all over again, adding in team of the years. So that's a possibility um, for the market today as well. And then there are going to be some saved up packs. I don't know if I've mentioned this previously in this video, um, but there's a lot of saved up packs. And that is also going to add to the panic that could happen in the first hour to hour and a half. So people rip those packs and prices are going to go down a little bit on top of the panic because there's a bit more supply on those cards that are re-released back into packs. Um, you know, last thing I'll end with in this video is I think this would be a really sick thing to do by EA if they did this today, right? They kind of tease the Timo Werner or the Ziyech, the Allianz Arena, and Stanford Bridge with transfers, right? What if they gave... Timo Werner has a 97 rated Bundesliga Leipzig team of the season card, right? This is his Tots card. What if they re-release this team of the season card or some sort of his special items with the Chelsea card, like it's Chelsea Timo Werner with the team of the season stats. If EA wanted to go full sellout, they could put that card in packs, no supply on the market, put that card in packs. They would get people for Ziyech, for Werner, if they did like a team of the preseason, right? Te like team of transfers and they put them in packs, people would probably, they could run lightning rounds and if they ran lightning rounds that would be a lot of supply and prices would drop even further but that would be like i think that'd be actually kind of cool i think that'd be actually kind of cool if they did that that'd be new something sick something they'd never really done before so if that happens you heard it here first 
I don't work at EA, I promise, but I'd feel very lucky if that is what they end up doing. Last thing as well is just watch Footwatch's Twitter. Be on Twitter tonight. Check it once or twice. See if they do release any sort of, of uh, code or something related to uh, a possible new car design uh, coming out or like something, a new pack that they add to the code. We could see like the ultimate tots guaranteed as a part of this promo. I mean, I don't think SBCs are going to stop. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see what happens with this promo. And of course, if there's upgrade packs, which I think a lot of people want, these icon upgrades are going to be very fun to craft. And a lot of people are going to full send. If they haven't full sent already, their clubs are basically going to be dry and going to be dead. But again, today, really, it's anything could happen today with the preseason promo. This is like one of the promos for the first time in a while that I really sit here and I'm like, I have no idea what is going to happen today. I really do not know. And I'm kind of excited because I don't know, right? We don't have leaks right now. We really don't have a lot of leaks. And I like it that way. I like it that way because it's pure, genuine surprise and excitement, at least right now when I'm recording this the night before the promo starts. Until the promo comes out, we don't know. And I like that because I like the surprise factor of the content in this game. All right. That's the video for today, boys. It is preseason Wednesday. Hopefully it's hype. Hopefully a lot of content. Hopefully a lot of stuff from EA, even relating to FIFA 21. That would be pretty sick. If you guys enjoyed this video today, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.